Good morning, modern steaders. Starting this morning off a little different. We want to move New York City this morning. So we got to get out to New York City and keep the door closed. Our new automatic chicken door automatically opens up at 6.45 in the morning. So we don't want that happening today. You guys didn't go in last night. Might have to hang out here for a minute to see if the door is going to go off at 6.45. Oh, let's shut our water off. <laughs> Weather-wise, it's not the nicest weather out right now. It's 40 degrees out in a misty rain. Even with all the frost we've been getting lately, the sunflowers are still doing awesome and a lot of them are just starting to blossom. Look at that. Oh, look, there's a bee right there. See the bee? Huh. I wonder if he's frozen. <sighs> Come on, it, pigs. The plan's to move you later on, too. before we harvest them, but <clears throat> probably be the last time. Go. No, you girls gotta stay in. Come on and hope. Got such a mess in the workshop. Oh, but it's looking so nice. Where do you think we should put move New York City to? Like here? Yeah. All right. Because it's gonna probably be permanent. Right, and then we take down the fence once we get too much snow.
chickens will peck through it and clean it up. Oh, good for Ready? You ready to go move the pigs? This will be the last time they move. The pigs are easy to get back in the trailer. up there. That's where you sleep at night. There you go. Oh. <sighs> Hoping that before winter comes we can get over here and Get this raked back out. The York rake, because I mean, that's all nice soil now that the pigs have been in here pooping in it and aerating it. This for now. All right. They don't even want to come out with no fence. Where'd the other pig go? Come here! Disaster. Did you, you, when you were gone, or did you see they wouldn't cross it? Even though the fence was down, they would not come out of that, they would not come out of that square. Like that's how well trained they are to electric fence. They know the fence was there. So that's what after I thought they were getting out and then I'm like, oh my god, what the fence? What would they do? Like, pick up and they'll take off. 
we'll land it for now. Oh, that's the one thing we need to I need to work on is that is yeah, that gate. Maybe like a thing and then the board goes. Yep. Or something. But the good thing about going through stuff like that is is you learn. Like okay, the pigs are well trained to the electric fence. Even though it's down, they don't know that. Right. So it's like okay, don't panic. Go get grain. Get them back in to the trailer. And then we'll be all set. Pounded that easy everywhere. This is some nice grass. It's pretty thick. Oh, I gotta mow the new pasture sometime. I just need to walk it and raise it up where it's low and lower it where it's high. That all looks good. That all looks good. Plug it in now and we'll release the pigs. Negative. Positive. I think they should like this area. It's pretty thick with grass. I didn't really think they like grass that much. Oh yeah, they love grass. You girls want to go out now? <clears throat> go ahead. Go ahead, go be goats. Ah, <sighs> what a mess. <laughs> but we gotta make a mess before we can get it finished. Uh, all right, we got a lot of the big stuff done. We just gotta do the little bottoms and then up by the garage door and the little triangles. We're gonna try to whack it all out in fast motion and just get her done.
Get some glue on these 45s. Last corner piece. That one. And that one. We missed it earlier, Livy's. The pigs escaped and we were trying to move them. There you go, Mom. Dump the food right in there. Bucket and then we'll kick it in the fence. It's like an ATM drive up window and they put it, or bank window. Oop. Are you getting rescued in? No. I was hoping they'd. Let me get it a little bit further away. There you go. Oh my goodness. Alright. You found a toad? Oh, I see it now. Oh, yeah. It's jumping towards you. I thought it was going to jump on me. That's why. Mm, I want you to give it a kiss. It's your Prince Charming. They are creepy because. They want your grain. They know you got chicken grain. And the dogs. How many? Thirteen. Uh, and like the other day, the cat was in here too. Yep. How many you say? I go with 15. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, nine, holy moly, 10, 12, 14, 15. Winner, winner, I want a chicken dinner. <laughs> chicken dinner. Woohoo! I win. Even if you lost, that's what you're getting. Right. How'd you win? I know my chickens. Be careful. You better hurry up before I have broken eggs. Hopefully I'm watching them with Tanner. It kind of looks like a goat. The color. Ah, did you just realize it was him? I'm not telling you my secret. And I stuck some butter. You stuck some butter in there. I just knew I was gonna use it for this. Now it's stuck in there. Mom. I just love church church churches.
Mmm, homemade gravy with chicken over mashed potatoes with some homemade pickled beets. Delicious. Such a good go-to meal this time of the year when it starts to cool off. The uh, so inside of the workshop, it's looking good, but boy, it's been a labor of love. Cutting all those little 45 degree angles to go in the corner braces. That took me almost a whole day alone, so the workshop video parts you see that was two different days on our day off i spent the day in there from dusk to dawn almost doing all the little tedious cuts but man is it gonna look good I'm supposed to be getting a lot of rain tomorrow so we're gonna be shellacking the inside of the barn or workshop i should say so i'm excited and curious to see how that turns out the pigs could have went a lot worse today guys we got lucky where they didn't get out of the fence i'm glad we've trained them well uh, to the electric fence i was just looking at a quote and this one popped up which is so fitting with what happened with the pigs i'm not afraid of storms for i'm learning how to sail my ship man that is spot on if the storms don't come we'll never know how to sh sail our ships during them we gotta learn sometime so it's a blessing if we can do it and do it with a smile on our face guys thanks for coming along on our journey with us you are a blessing to us in our homestead thanks for watching and we'll see you right back here in the next video at lumna acres